How's it going guys, Tech Bits here with the top 5 must have Android launchers video. So before we start off, I just want to mention that the links to all the launchers featured here will be put in the description down below. So at number 5 we have CM Launcher. This is one of the most feature packed launchers out there. It looks pretty much like a stock launcher on the outside but on the inside it's entirely different. The launcher supports smart folders which automatically rearranges your apps into folders. Swiping through the pages there's no lag experience whatsoever. The animations and transitions are all very really smooth. If you like theming your Android device, this launcher won't disappoint you. There are a variety of themes available to change the look of your device. The only problem I have with this launcher is that by default, it comes with a lot of bloatware and some unwanted features, at least according to me. But fortunately, all these can be deleted or disabled. So overall guys, it's a really interesting launcher and definitely worth checking out. So next up we have Nano Launcher, the smallest launcher in terms of APK size on the list. It comes around at 2.47 MB. Even after being so small, this launcher has a variety of features. The home page consists of some apps which can be added or removed according to our preference. In the next page we have some most used apps and below them we have a section featuring the latest apps which when swiped reveals nano tools. And finally below that we have a bunch of quick toggles for adjusting the brightness, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth etc. The widgets can also be added by choosing the add widget option in the next page. Now jumping into the settings we can see that there is not much we can customize here. We have only some options for changing the appearance. So overall it's a really smooth launcher and even though it's not fully customizable it's worth it. So next up we have bus launcher. So if you are really big into customizing your device you will feel right at home with this launcher. So function wise this launcher is pretty much like any launcher out there. It has an app drawer with all the apps neatly arranged into folders then we have a my tab which contains our frequently used apps this launcher also supports gestures where this launcher really shines is in the theming department opening up home pack we are bombarded with tons of themes uploaded by different users if you want to apply a theme just click on it and just hit download pretty simple as that there you go guys the theme has been applied You'll also need to download the bus widget app for some of the functions to work in different themes. The only downside to this launcher is that it's a resource hog. This launcher is not suitable for devices with lower amounts of RAM. Otherwise guys, it's a really awesome launcher. Next up we have Smart Launcher. This is one of the most neatest launchers available in the Play Store. It aims to make your device clutter free and simple to use. The home screen is pretty basic. We have some default applications in the form of bubbles which can be added or deleted according to our choice. Opening up the app drawer from the bottom left we can see that it's neatly arranged into tabs. I really dig this look of the app drawer. This launcher also supports theming. A wide variety of themes are available for download from the play store. There's even a lock screen built into this and it too can also be themed. Sadly, the widget functions of this launcher is locked behind a paywall. Apart from that guys, do check this launcher out. So finally, we have Novel Launcher, my favorite launcher in the list. The reason that this launcher is at the top of everyone's list of favorite Android launchers is that because in terms of ease of use and speed, this launcher is the best. It's very much like the stock Google launcher but with several added features and customizability options. Jumping into the settings, we can do anything from switching icon packs, changing up transitions etc. The paid version of Nova Launcher unlocks gestures options, unread counts, icon swipes etc. I highly recommend buying the prime version of Nova Launcher. So to wind it up guys, this is one of the most smoothest and bloatware free Android experience I've ever had. That's it for the video folks, hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video. Yeah.